probably would lead to the impeachment if Hillary Clinton was ever elected. If the law was just, she would be impeached if she gets elected. And this is only just some of it. There's a reason that Obama claimed executive privilege in these emails. There's a reason. Is Obama paying attention to all the horrible things they were trying to point out about him, that he's a Muslim, he grew up in a Muslim world, and he did cocaine, and he was corrupt, and he had a corrupt land deal, and he was un-American, and he wouldn't put his hand over his heart, and, oh, this wasn't just Sean Hannity. Remember I said, Linda, I said, boy, when they were running in 2008, for the first time in my career, the Hillary Clinton people were champion Hannity. They loved Sean Hannity. They love what Sean Hannity was doing. Sean Hannity was breaking new ground every day. They don't like it now. Because now I'm pointing out that she is one person in public, as she says, and another person in private. And we see that on every position. We can't bet refugees, but she's telling us we can. She's saying privately we can't. No fly zone in Syria. She wants one, but she's saying to people that pay her big money for a speech, no, that's not going to work champion of climate change, but eh, she actually praised fracking in the Keystone Pipeline. Fierce critical Wall Street, but praises them every time she speaks to them. She says in paid speeches she wants open hemisphere. Not just open borders, open hemisphere. And open trade. Well, that's going to put enough Americans out to work, so they don't want to cover any of this. You know, and when the email scandal gets too hot, we'll just use four dead Americans that are in Benghazi as a, a distraction. That's nothing compared to the corruption here. And it appears Obama knew all about it. No wonder why Obama's talk, attacking talk radio again like he did in every other campaign in his life. You know, I, I learned about that from the press reports about Hillary's email server. Well, you know you didn't because you actually emailed the private email and the email server. You liar. I mean, it's just lying. Just such a liar. <laughs> I mean, uh, Michelle Obama, you upset about Bill Clinton's shenanigans and accusations of rape and groping and grabbing and touching and fondling and squeezing and kissing against the will? Or exposing one's apparently very distinguishable penis before Paula Jones? One of the things, the important aspect of this rape is role modeling what good families should look like. In my view is that if you can't run your own house, you certainly can't run the White House. Can't do it. Can't run your, you can't run your house, you can't run the White House. But it, it does all now fit together, doesn't it? Doesn't it all fit together? Why Clinton's IT team used bleach fit? Now that Cheryl Mills and John Podesta are talking, well, what do we do with the president? and his emails to Hillary. Well, we'll invoke executive privilege. That's Obama get out of the mess. Did Obama call Loretta Lynch and say, hey, Loretta, I need this to go away. James Comey, I need this to go away. This goes right up to me. I can't have myself implicated because she did, you know, all of this, and I wrote her emails. It does explain, though, the very suspicious very questionable actions of our FBI director, James Comey, and our attorney general, Loretta Lynch. Why did Bill Clinton meet privately with Loretta Lynch on her private plane for 40 minutes? What can you possibly be talking about for 40 minutes? Kids, the weather, I stay outside. You know, but no wonder why the media is focused on Trump. You know, they couldn't bring charges against Clinton or investigate this too much because Obama is tied up in the scandal. And simply put, for Obama, this would be the equivalent of Watergate. What did he know, and when did he know it? Because that means that he, too, knew about an unsecure server 